Hello viewers, welcome to this video. Right, um, in this video, let's see how to use a Cloud Shell. All right, so I've logged into my Google Cloud Platform and uh, let's launch the Cloud Shell. So Cloud Shell is an interactive uh, shell that you can use from your web browser. You don't need a virtual machine. You don't need your machine. Uh, you don't need an SSH client uh, to be able to interact with your other resources in your uh, Google Cloud account. All right, so the shell is here, activate Cloud Shell. So did I click it? Activate Cloud Shell, waiting for GStatic, okay. Let's wait for it, I don't know why it's taking too long. Yep, it's coming up here. Right, Cloud Shell, manage your projects and resources from your web browser. As I told, it's an interactive, um, interactive shell that you can use from your web browser. And later I will also show you that you can actually connect to this Cloud Shell from your machine using SSH, right? So Cloud Shell is free for all users. It's absolutely free. It also comes with five gig of storage that you can use. It's like a temporary virtual machine. Um, I don't think it's actually a virtual machine. It's, it's some form of container. Okay, so let's continue. Connecting, provisioning your Google Cloud Shell machine. Okay, so let's wait for it. It's not gonna take a huge amount of time establishing connection there you go so one advantage is it comes with all the sdk tools installed that you want it also comes with uh the basic development tools installed for example python which php which pro which ruby and all those things it comes with uh the basic development utilities it also comes with the google sdk tools pre-installed which g cloud which gs util bq bigquery and so on and you can also open it in a separate tab for convenience that's our cloud shell okay so what else we've got in the cloud shell um, okay so terminal settings terminal preference color themes light okay uh, color themes dark we've got terminal preference text size large yep that's a bit better uh text size you can change the text size you can change the font keyboard show scroll bar it's not shown here okay tmux settings enable tmux tmux is actually enabled okay so let's see so if tmux is enabled we should be able to use it so if i hit Control b and uh, double quotes yep so we can split the pane horizontally or vertically it is what's the one for vertical is it percent yep okay so that's tmax that's working fine and uh close the terminal and here you've got the option to restart your uh machine cloud shell upload file download file uh usage quota usage statistics what is usage quota oh there you go so it's completely free but there are some limitations you've got some quota so Cloud Shell has weekly usage limits, not monthly, it's weekly usage limits. If you reach these limits, you will need to wait before you can use the Cloud Shell again. Okay, so you've got 50 hours of quota until April 9, 1 a.m. Okay, cool, so that's quota. And what else you can do? Um, upload and download file. Okay, let's try and upload a file. And uh, if I go to my home directory, let's copy this hello world text file. Open. Hello world is getting transferred. Okay, that's done. And uh, here, if I do ls, there we go. Hello world. We just uploaded our file from our local machine to the cloud shell. And similarly, we can also download some file. Let's say if I touch a file uh, from cloud shell ls so that's the file and you can download this file download file download file you can use the path uh, i don't know what the path is let's home slash uh, don't know the file path download from editor file tree or terminal command line okay let's try this from cloud shell download retry no such file okay okay uh, don't know about that let's uh, move on 
Okay, so we saw that and I also told you that there's a way to connect to the cloud shell from your host machine. Okay, let's go back to the host machine here. And uh, from my previous video, I've got the Google Cloud uh, installed, G Cloud uh, tool from the Google Cloud SDK. So that's good. And the command to connect to your cloud shell from your local machine is G Cloud Alpha Cloud Shell SSH. When you do this command, it's going to uh, generate an SSH key pair and it's going to upload that key pair to the uh, it's going to upload the uh, key pair to the uh, cloud shell machine as well okay so G cloud auth login uh, okay I haven't created that yet okay I'm gonna pause the video and configure my G cloud because after my previous video I completely wiped the configuration file so I'm gonna uh, enable the authentication i'm gonna do g cloud in it and then i will come back later okay all right so i've done the g cloud in it command so now i should be able to run g cloud alpha cloud shell ssh okay so it asking it's it's creating a key pair and it's asking for a passphrase and i'm going to just hit enter i'm not going to set any passphrase okay that's done pushing your public key to the cloud shell so you've got your private key on your machine and it's copying the public key to the cloud shell machine and as you can see here we are now inside uh, the cloud shell and if I do ls so we've got those files here and it's same as this one so even if you don't have uh, if you don't want to use the browser version of cloud shell you can connect using G cloud okay and if I exit out I can show you the um, dot ssh google star so those are the two um, files that got created so that's the private key and that's the public key and that's the public key that got copied to the cloud shell okay cool um i think that's all i wanted to talk about the cloud shell um nothing fancy nothing major about it um but it comes handy if you want to connect directly to a machine uh, if you don't want to use ssh from your machine okay and cool thank you so much for your time watching this video i will see you all in my next video Bye bye